Hello everybody, my name is Thris. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, I am so happy to have you and welcome back if you are a returning Stitchy. Okay, so I am batch recording, so I promise I do change my clothes, <laughs> but we are batch recording right now and I wanted to, I had a whole slew of things come in and I wanted to share it with you guys. So that is what we are going to do. I have... Oh, I just realized I'm missing something. That's okay. Um, I'll just edit it in when it comes. Okay. Story time. Okay, I was looking around to see if it was here. I'm definitely missing an item, but I'm sure it'll come. Anyway. Okay, story time. This is not to spread hate on a company. This is just to share my experience with you guys. And I wanted to wait until it was actually done. I've got beef with Darn Good Yarn. It takes a lot to get me to actually be really upset with a company because things happen. It takes, you know, repetitiveness or a really bad experience. Like even the Hirschner's experience months on months ago. I still buy from them. It wasn't a great experience, but I still support them because stuff happens sometimes. <sighs> okay. This is not that. At least to me, it doesn't feel like that. So, Darn Good Yarn had a sale back in end of August, beginning of September. And it was these bundles where you can get a massive discount. You get 10 items in a bundle all of the same item. They actually still have it going on right now. But at that time, oh, I gotta plug you guys in. I never charge y'all. At that time, it was buy one, get one free. So you buy 10, a 10 bundle, you could get another 10 bundle free. The same thing of a different thing, whatever. So I buy it and I get this Enchanted Forest Sparkle. And then I get this, um, the colorway is Tibetan Jewels. It's like a actual uh, sari silk strips. And I thought it'd be cool for basket weaving and stuff like that. And so it doesn't come and it doesn't come and it doesn't come. And I reach out through, you know how they have that little text thing when you leave their site and it's Jordan or whatever. So I messaged that and I'm asking, um, <clears throat> you know what's going on it's been a little bit they'll check into it with the team and so they go you know it takes a while a couple days or whatever and so what ended up happening is they only had um 12 of the enchanted forest and I was like that's totally fine you know just I'll wait for the other eight and they said okay cool so they go ahead and they send the order. I get the order in. There's only 10 of the Enchanted Forest. Fine, no big deal. I shot over an email and just to make sure they were aware it was only 10, not the 12. Um, and that's it. And well, that wasn't it. And I get to the Sari Silk and before I even open the pouch that it's in, I can already smell it. And I'm like, oh no. Oh no, this is like not good. And I go ahead and I open it and it just immediate mold, mold mildew. You know, it's a very distinct smell hits me in the face and I'm super allergic to that. My face immediately swells, turns red. My throat is swelling. It's getting itchy and just bad news bear. So I was like, okay, so I closed that up. I put it in a bag, tie it, put it in another bag, tie it, put it in another bag, tie it. And we go, and <clears throat> I set it in the laundry room so that it's away from me. And um, I let them know about that. I don't hear back and I don't hear back and I don't hear back. Mind you, this is like beginning of September. Come October, I still haven't heard back. So I stop emailing and I go back to that text message thing with Jordan and I say, hey, this is my order number. This is what's going on. No big deal, but what can we do? Because I really need to get this out of my house. And um, he said, I'll check with the team. 
it took five or six days to get anything back, whatever. I get it back and they said, um, oh yeah, this sort of thing happens with that yarn. Here's what you can do. Here's the washing instructions. And I was like, respectfully, I'm not doing that. Um, I'm not unhanking 10 hanks of moldy yarn and washing them, exposing myself to it the entire time. If this is such a common practice that you have specific instructions for it, I don't know, maybe we need to figure out why that's happening, but it happens sometimes, you know, certain fibers will sweat in the right conditions and I am sure silk is one of them. So it happens. So no big deal. They can't control that. It probably happened in shipping, maybe. I don't know. I can't imagine they would, anybody would send it out that way. And it did, and it did take a bit to get to me, and that was still in the heat. So I have to assume that's what happened. You know, totally out of their control. I get it. So I was like, well, you know, I'm not going to be doing that respectfully, but thank you so much. So what can we do? I Ideally, I don't want a refund. I'd like to just exchange it for 10 of something else because it's a really good deal and the deal is over if that's cool and nothing I hear nothing October passes November passes we're at the very end of November and I reach out and I had reached out through the Jordan text message thing that's the only thing I ever got responses through and so I reach out through that again and I was like, hey, can I get an update on the Enchanted Forest Sparkle, the other 10 that um, is still due me? I saw on the website that they're back in stock. You know, could I go ahead and get that? And then what is the, you know, what are we doing with the other yarn? I'll check with the team. I keep doing this quotations around. I check, I'll check with the team because by the end of this, I was like, if I hear that phrase again, I'm going to pull my hair out which I didn't have hair at the time, but I had pulled somebody else's out. So, um, so checks with the team or whatever they get, uh, he gets back to me and, oh man, what did they say? Oh, they sent the yarn out and, um, that's all they said. And so I had to remind again about the, um, about the moldy yarn and I'm like okay thank you so much I received the yarn thank you very much but what are we doing about the moldy yarn and um I don't know I'll have to check with the team <laughs> it's like <laughs> okay and I'm trying so hard to not be like I'm being so polite I'm being so patient I'm being so kind and like because it's not this person's fault and so I'm like okay that's fine thank you so much and um, so at this point, I start checking in every few days because I'm like, look, you've given them a lot of grace. You've been extremely patient with them. Now you need to stay on top of it, like, um, repetitively. And so every like five days, I would say something and it would be like, I'll give you an update as soon as I get it. Let me check with the team, yada, yada, yada. Till finally it they respond back in the text message thing and they say you're you got an email so look for that email and this is going to be handled directly through email from Nicole which I do believe is the like actual founder of Darn Good Yarn if I'm not mistaken or at very least it's like high up management or something and I said okay cool thank you so much and so I'm checking all throughout my email and I get, I don't see anything. I'm checking spam. I'm checking promotions. I'm checking social. I'm literally typing in darn good yarn. I'm typing in Nicole because I've spoken to her before. So I know what her email address is. So I typed in her email address. I type in support a darn good yarn, like literally every way, every which way that you could look it up. And so then I thought, well, maybe they have my other email. I don't know how they would have that. That's my personal email. I don't give it out to anybody. Um, and so I checked that one, nothing from Dark Good Yarn is there. Um, this is an email that doesn't have ads or anything like that. So I was like, okay. So I reached back out through the text message thing. I waited a day because I didn't want to be like a nuisance. 
and I reached back out and I said, hey, I didn't get an email, you know, could they maybe resend it? And they were like, listen, you're going to have to be patient. It can, it, they might need time. And I was like, okay, which ticked me off because I think I've been nothing but patient here. Like we're talking end of August and we're now in December. I think I've been patient. But I just say, um, okay, well, I was just under the impression it had already been sent out based off what you said. I'm so sorry if I misunderstood. And so I wait. I wait. I think almost a week I wait. Oh my gosh, this charger is terrible. And so I finally get an email. Hello, busy model. Hi, honey. If you guys can see him, I don't know how far over the... There he is. Hey, sweet boy, you good boy. So I finally get an email, and they were. It was a very curt email, and it was. Um, I understand there's an issue with the yarn, and um, I don't remember what all was said, but basically just like reiterating, you know, what is the issue? How can I help? Da da da. da. I explain the entire thing, and I do mention. Um, the length of time. I didn't say it in a crappy way, but I was like, you know, this happened. I said, uh, back in August, I made this order. And that's the only reference to that I made. It wasn't, I've been waiting this whole time. It was just literally giving a timeline. And so they come back and they were like, okay, well, your options, if you're not willing to wash it, no, I'm not willing to wash it. Your options are to get a full refund or to exchange it for another bundle of 10 or well no they just said it or exchange it and I said okay I and I wrote back I said I would like to exchange it I wrote back immediately I said I'd like to exchange it because it was a really good deal you know whatever and I said what can I exchange it for is it the 10 bundle because from what I'm seeing there's like nothing there or is it from the website I just don't hear back I don't hear back 10 11 days I don't hear back so, to try to preempt any more length of time, I write an email and I said, okay, I haven't, you know, I haven't heard back from you, just checking in about everything here to try to save us some time. And I literally wrote out a list of like 15 things off the website that I would be happy with. And I said, pick one, I don't care. Um, because I don't have any direction as to what I'm allowed to trade this for. So, that's what I did. I spent hours collecting a list and just Put it all there and I picked like items I didn't go and pick like super expensive stuff in fact what I picked was actually a less quality cheaper like alternative don't hear anything back days and I'm just like oh my gosh I'm so over at this point like I'm trying so hard to be nice I'm trying so hard to be patient I don't hear back anything we're encroaching on Christmas time and um I reach out to the Jordan text message thing and I said, hey, it's been like almost two weeks. I haven't heard anything. I sent an email. Is there any chance that you can check on this for me and see, like, I just want to get this wrapped up. I'm exhausted. I'm frankly exhausted of doing this. Um, hold on. Okay. It was lip chap time. Chapstick. I call it lip chap. Drives Andrew up the wall. So naturally, that's all I call it. Let me fix you guys. Okay. So, you know, I kindly said, I'm just exhausted of doing this, to be perfectly honest with you. They're like, I totally understand. I'm so sorry. Da, da, da. I'll, let the, I'll let the team know. So I get a response. And the response ticked me off. Um, the response was, <laughs> I don't remember word for word how she said it. <laughs> hey, be nice. Stay out of his face. I don't remember how she said it, but basically just like kind of made me feel like I was being ridiculous or entitled to thinking I could just pick anything off the site or whatever. And that's not what it was at all. I just didn't have any direction. So I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing because when you went back to the 10 bundle sale, there was like two or three items was it. I wasn't sure if that's what I was supposed to be doing. So, um... Or no, there was, there was like five items actually. So I was like, uh, 
And I do believe one of those items made it on, it did, one of those items made it on the list. It was more of the uh, Sparkle Enchanted Forest. So they said, it ha she was like, it has to be off that list. And I need to know within 24 hours because we need to get this thing done. This has been taking a long time. You think? So <laughs> I was I was mad. I was really mad. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> That's me typing angrily. Um I was like, I understand that this has been a long time. This has been since August that I've been trying to get a response. This amount of time has taken this amount of time from no fault of my own. I have been in communication. This is y'all not communicating. I have been so patient. I have been so nice. <laughs> the audacity to come at me with a time limit. I was shocked. I was like, that is so rude. And I was like, this would be done. I, I asked for direction. Nobody gave me direction. I wasn't sure what to do. I mean, yes, it, it, it made common sense brain. Hello. It should... It should have told me that, of course, I was supposed to pick another 10 bundle item. Okay. Um, quite frankly, I wasn't even sure if the sale was even going on before I had checked still. Because it had been so many months, I assumed that it wasn't going on anymore. But anyway. So I go to the page. There's five items. And I'm like, well, this sucks. And so I wrote back and I picked an item. I just picked more of the Enchanted Sparkle Forest. And I was like, that's fine. I'll do that. Um... So she writes me back and tells me, um, okay, uh, okay, that'll be great. Glad we got this done. Then writes me back again and tells me, oh, I'm so sorry. We don't have enough stock of that to give you the amount that you need. And I said, okay, that's fine. Can you just give me whatever amount that you have and then give me the other amount of, I don't care, whatever. You know, and she was like, um, well, we don't actually have any of it. I was like, okay, well, that's a different story. Fine. Then she said, here's what you can choose from. So the amount, however many it was, five or six items that was on that page wasn't even accurate. There was only three items. One of them I was allergic to. One of them was butt ugly. <laughs> I didn't want it. And then there was another one that I was like, I get, you know, I really didn't want it either. I didn't want any of them, but that's what I had to choose from. So I play ball. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I guess, you know, I'll do, I guess, I guess I'll do this. And, um, so I don't remember what her response was to that, but it invoked my response of, listen, I have supported you guys for a really long time publicly, privately, like I didn't say publicly in the sense of a channel, like I don't pull that card, but I'm like publicly, you know, myself, whatever, I have supported you guys even through this entire ordeal since August and it's now January because it was this month. I'm like, I haven't even showed you guys the yarn that I got because it's that freshly arrived. I was like, um, I've supported you guys, you know, for a really long time and I love your ethos and honestly, I'm really bothered by the way this whole ordeal has played out. There has not been a singular apology. There has not been a singular, like, taking accountability for any part of this situation from you guys and in fact, you've put the onus on me um, a couple of times, which I, you know, find a little crazy, you know, I, I, whatever. I don't remember how I worded it. I probably said a little crazy or ostentatious or something like that. And I'm like, I just don't, I don't understand. Um, I'm like, and then to have the audacity to come back and tell, give me a time limit because this is taking a long time when it's y'all's fault that it's taking a long time, not mine. I'm like, honestly, I'm really upset and I'm really struggling as to whether I'm going to continue to support the company. Like, I'm very fresh, frustrated. Like, I'm, I don't get frustrated to a point where I don't support a company easily. And all her response back was, well, if that's your decision, basically, if that's your decision, that's your decision. 
still know I'm, I'm sorry about what happened. I was shocked. Like, I'm sorry goes a really long way. So, I get the yarn. And while the yarn was being shipped, I emailed them. And I texted the Jordan thing. Both of them saying, I haven't received a return label for the yarn to get the yarn back to you. Just wanted to make sure you guys knew so that you could get your yarn back. Because I don't want to keep it. I have no use for it. And a deal is a deal. I'm getting um, the replacement yarn. They should get their yarn back. And I want to honor that. So I get the yarn in a couple days, only like two days, I think, pass. And I get this email of, you haven't sent your yarn back. If we don't get a tracking of you sending the yarn back, you, you're going to be charged the full amount. Which the full amount for 20 of them was like 200 and something dollars. And I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. It is like, you guys are not even trying to be a responsible company or do what's right. I was like the absolute amount of like gab smocked flabbergasm that has been happening throughout this entire ordeal. I can't even tell you. Um, so I wrote him back and I said, if you'll check your records, I emailed you and I texted the Jordan thing, letting you know, I have not yet received a shipping label to return the yarn to you. I am more than happy to do so. I would like it out of my house. I just haven't received the shipping label. Guys, I still haven't received the shipping label. If they charge me, I'm going to be ticked. I'm not paying to ship it back. The deal was that they were going to give me a label. And that's fine that they have it, but you're not going to threaten me to charge me for it. Anyway, so, then I had the other day, I have like $120 in gift cards because of my darn good yarn rewards. So, um, they did some maintenance recently, recently on the rewards thing, so it put some kinks in the system, so no big deal. Like, that's not their fault, you know, that stuff sort of, that stuff happens. You know, they're trying to update their system, make it better, that is good, and sometimes kinks happen, no big deal. Anyway, honestly, for right now, I'm not saying that I'm forever not supporting Darn Good Yarn, but right now, I'm too irritated. <laughs> I'm, as soon as they fix their issue to where I can redeem and use the gift cards on stuff. Well, okay, basically what happened, this, this is just the system being the system. This is not on them, and I recognize that. It's just after that whole ordeal, I don't want any more issues. So I redeem my credit, my, my, um, rewards and everything. I go put stuff in the cart to use it. There's, uh, buy one, get one free of this layering box of, um, clothes made out of the sari silk. And then the patchwork, a patchwork dress that was going to bring me up to my total. I had more than what my total would be in gift cards. Boom, done. You know, see you tomorrow, whatever. And I go to check out and it says it won't let me use it on any of those items. And I'm like, of course, <laughs> of course. So I contact Jordan. He contacts the team. I could scream at that phrase. <laughs> and basically comes back and they say, um, oh yeah, you can't use that because everything's already discounted. You can't further discount it. I'm like, I'm not using a coupon code. I'm using a gift card. It's a form of payment. And just making sure they understood what I meant. Maybe I wasn't clear. Maybe they didn't understand. So I re-explained it. And they said, well, yeah, you can't further discount discounted items. I'm like, okay, I'm not further discounting it. This is an e-gift card. This is a payment, not a discount code. And um, so, uh, so I was like, what did I say? Oh, he said, I'll go check with the team or whatever. And he comes back and um, he's like, yeah, so it's it's because you're trying to further discount a discount, like I had said. And I was like, okay, 
this isn't a discount code. And so I re-explained what the gift card was. And um, I said, and why wouldn't it work on the patchwork dress? It's not on sale. I said, I even, I took out the layering boxes. I added nothing but patchwork dresses, which are not on sale and tried it on that and it wouldn't work. I took that out. I have a fiber on me or a hair. Um, I said, I took that out and I added just yarn to it and that wouldn't work. And all in the patchwork dress and the yarn was full price. It was like the only two full price things I could find because you guys put everything on sale. So like if it won't work on things that are on sale, I can't buy anything on the site. There's like almost nothing that's full price. I said, I found a couple things that were, I put those in and it still wouldn't work. And so he comes, he comes back and he's like, well, no, you are getting a sale on them. It's the member discount. I'm like, I can't help that. There's nothing I can do about that. You guys put that on. I don't have any choice on that. There's nothing I can click to remove that. So then you're telling me I can't use the reward card on anything that's on sale. And I can't use it on anything full price because it puts a member discount on it. That makes no sense. So then what am I supposed to use it on? So he's like, oh, yeah, I guess that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I was like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Let me go talk to the team. Okay. <laughs> so they are working on a workaround. They are recognizing that it is a problem now, which is good. And they are working a workaround. So basically what they're allowing to happen is the gift card code. So if anybody's having issues with this, um, the reward card code that you get when you redeem your reward, reward, you can use that to go buy the same amount in a gift card and then get an e-gift card code. Cause I guess the codes are different. Um, I guess it was like shooting out a discount code card because, you know, they're all coded specifically. I don't know. I don't understand the problem. So I was just like, okay, thank you. <laughs> and honestly, I was just laughing through the whole thing because I was like, this is just so ridiculous. I'm so over it. Anyway, okay. So for right now, I'm canceling my Darn Good Yarn Monthly subscription. I'm going to use my 100 $20 gift cards or whatever through there. And I'm going to move on for a little bit until I cool down from it until they work some stuff out. Frankly, I deserve an apology. I'm not going to get one. So I'm not going to stand on principle about it. It is what it is. What happened happened. It's pretty much done and over with almost. I mean, if they send me the shipping label back, I'll send them the yarn back. But um, I'm sure I will go back to supporting them. There's a yarn on there I want really bad, actually. It's the Northern, uh, Northern Lights Worsted Weight Yarn. It's so pretty. I want it so stinking bad. So I'll probably come back. But for right now, I just need a breather, basically. And that's totally okay. And with subscription services, I will often cancel them for a little while when I get bored of them or when they pile up and I haven't used them. I'll cancel them for a little bit and I'll come back. This to me is, you know, very similar. I'm just, I'm taking a step away. I'll probably come back later, but that was a pretty foul taste in my mouth for it to take over four months to be taken care of, almost five months. It took almost five months for that to get resolved. And then not only not an apology, but to act the way that they did about it, it really upset me. It really frustrated me. I think that was poor business, poor customer service. Um, and I wasn't even upset about the moldy yarn. It happens. It happens. And I get that the sorry, the sorry silk, uh, it being like pieces of the silk, it can totally happen. You know, it's an animal fiber. It's made from a silkworm. And this stuff um, sweats and it can happen. So I wasn't upset about it in the least. I get it. I've only ever received moldy yarn twice. But it happens. It's, it's bound to happen. Anyway, so the whole point of me saying that was story time. But also to show you my final darn good yarn. Plus 
I frankly haven't been blown away with what I've been being sent in the Darn Good Yarn. I keep getting colors like this. I'm not a fan. But anyway, so this is Uru Yarn. I'm not sure what that says. I can't read that bottom word. It's, it's Old Barn. It's 34% cotton, 35% linen, 10% like a cell. 12% nylon. It's a sport weight, 351 yards. Like, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with 351 yards of a sport weight. It is beautiful, though. I really like that color. I wouldn't mind a whole thing of this color. That's pretty. So, I'll try to work this into a project, probably. I've been having fun doing that. So, I'm down for that. It is what it is. Um, you know, they give you little freebies in here. So, I guess it's not bad, actually, now that I think about it. It's not bad that the freebie is a hanky yarn. Actually, I'll take that over another pom-pom maker because I have, like, those coming out of my nose. And then there's three of these, which are ugly as sin. In my opinion, that's just my opinion. This is probably gorgeous to other people. But I genuinely was thinking about canceling this before this ordeal happened. I just didn't, I just didn't do it. I was actually content to just let it keep going and collecting it um but I have not been enjoying the subscription there's only like one or two months that I actually liked I'm not a fan of the colors that they send in it so there's no point in continuing something that I also don't like um but this is a sport weight 50 grams 150 yards of the twist silk and this is in gumdrop so there's three of those, one of this, I actually really like this. I don't think that's on their website though, where I could get more of it, which is unfortunate. Um, and then there are little, are these knitting needle stoppers? I think those are knitting needle stoppers. So I'll put that in a giveaway, um, cause I don't knit. Well. I plan to try to knit, so maybe I'll keep them. Anyway, so, so that is my last darn good yarn, unless I can't figure out how to cancel it, <laughs> which is a distinct possibility because most companies don't make subscription boxes easy to cancel. Okay. Editing thrifts here. Um, it just cut off, so I started showing the new subscription box, but after I showed it, I decided I wanted to make it a standalone video, so sorry for the interrupt cut off, um, but this is definitely, so this is the end of um, this video then, so thank you so much for joining me and hearing my story. <laughs> Again, no hate to Nicole at Darn Good Yarn. No hate to Darn Good Yarn or anything like that. This was just my experience. I've never had a bad experience with them leading up to this. And I'm sure most of you probably haven't had a bad experience with them. And by no means am I saying don't support them. Um, I don't even know that I will remain unsupportive. Like I said, I will most likely, you know, come back at some point. Um, cause there is things on there that I do really like, but for right now, this is just my journey. This is just what I'm doing. This was my story. Um, I'm not trying to dog them. I'm not trying to ruin them. I mean, I'm little, I can't do anything. They don't, they don't care about little old me, but, um, anyway, just want to put all those disclaimers out there make sure everybody is aware by all means, continue supporting them. Um, I'm telling you I'm getting an editing workout today. Um, I accidentally clicked the uh, button to stop the video. So anyway, yeah, this was just, you know, my experience or whatever. But the company itself, what it stands for is beautiful. They have a beautiful story. If you don't know their story, I encourage you to go read it on their website. I massively support their efforts um, in both supporting women and in supporting uh, third world countries and things like that. And, um, 
yeah, I, I love, and I love that they are, you know, reusing, um, materials instead of just sourcing new ones, um, or creating new ones, you know, so, anyway, I'm going to close my mouth now, and I love you guys, stay safe, and stay weird.